friends, we are making a photo Christmas card with our Cricut Maker today. You are crafting with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop. Today we'll learn to upload a photo to Design Space, slice the photo to fit our card, we'll print then cut it onto sticker paper, we'll cut out our chipboard, and we'll assemble our entire Christmas card. Okay, so here we are on the Design Space canvas. And let me show you what I have um, going on here. So these are um, designs from my Oh What Fun cartridge here in Cricut. And if you go to Images, and you go to Cartridges, if you type in my name, Kim Byers, it will bring up all of my cartridges. And this one, um, this is another Christmas one I have, Ho 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 Holiday. But if you scroll down to Oh What Fun, pops up, and okay, so as you can see, this is actually a tag design that we're going to use for this card. So we have the tag design and um, the Oh What Fun. This is actually a cake topper design, but it's going to work really well for our card. And so I would insert those both, but they're already in. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And as you can see here, from my card that I shared with you, I only want a couple of these elements. So I'm going to go over into uh, layers and I'm going to hide the items that I don't want, which leaves me with this tag. And it's currently basically six by six. And so I'm going to leave it about that size. Um, and then this is my cake topper. And what I want to do is I want to be able to use that on top of my card. And then I also want to add a photograph to the back of my card. But before we get to that point, you'll notice in layers that these are uh, printed items, right? So we're going to do print then cut. Um, and it's actually so much easier than you might think, but we're going to do print then cut. And what I want to do is I want to um, use paper for the Oh What Fun but I want to cut this piece of the card out of um, chipboard. And I want this card to basically be able to be an ornament as well, a keepsake. So we're going to cut the shape of the card out of chipboard, and then I'm going to print the top part of that on vinyl. Um, and then I'm going to then print the other piece of that onto a heavy cardstock. So if we take this shape and I then duplicate it, okay, so now I have two of them and I'm gonna go over into layers and I'm gonna take that second one and you see all the other things are still hidden. I'm gonna take that second one and I'm going to make it a cut instead of a print. And so now this is going to be my chipboard. This is going to be my printed item, and then this is going to be my two elements of printed paper. So now what I want to do is I want to add a photo to the back of this card, and I want to import that. So I'm going to go over to Upload, and you can bring in your photo. Of course, this takes a second. I have actually gone ahead and uploaded the image that I wanted to use just because I didn't want you guys to have to sit through that. So um, this is the image that I'm going to use. I've actually already put it onto my canvas. So what you'll do though is you'll just hit upload image and you're going to be able to browse your computer and bring in anything that you want. And it's going to bring it in really big, um, which is good because now that we're back to my canvas, let me show you. I'm going to unhide my image. It brought it in because it was a high-res image. It brought it in really, really big. So what I'm going to do though is I want to just cut out the shape of the background or of the back of my card for this picture. I don't want this huge picture. I just want that piece of the boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm then going to take my picture and I'm going to roll it over top and I'm thinking I might reduce the size of it just a little bit. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to bring it to the front. So under Arrange, I'm going to send it to the front. And then if I click on this, I can still see back there 
where it is. Okay, so now I have my photo right where I want it. So if I click on my photo, and then if I click on my shape behind it, so you can see which piece of the photo is going to be cropped. So then I'm going to grab both pieces of my photo and the background. And if you look over in layers, you can tell you've grabbed it because it's highlighted as well as the shape. Then you're going to go down to slice, click slice, give it a second, and now you can see that they, the shape is there, right? So then when we take that away, voila! So now we have a photo that's going to be print then cut that is going to be the exact size um, of what we want it to be on the back of the card. Love that feature. Okay, so now that we have this piece, we don't need that anymore. So you can either hide it or um, delete it. So then what I'm going to do is move these two pieces apart because they are going to, this is going to print then cut with um, this top now shape. I have all of the different elements of my card, my photo, and I have the front of the card, and I have the banner for the front of the card, and then this, of course, is the base or that chipboard um, for my card. I've decided that I want to print my photo and the front and part of my banner on Cricut um, sticker paper. It's kind of like a, it's got like a nice, you know, shine to it, and so it'll look professional and, and really well done. And again, remember, I want this to be an ornament, so I want it to be something really pretty that people would you know, want to put or keep on their tree maybe from year to year. Okay, so especially my mom, my mom will. <laughs> so if you have loved ones like that in your life, you know, grandparents, they love this kind of thing. So what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to take my banner and I'm going to duplicate it. And then I am going to hide or delete one half of each of them. So for this one, um, let's say we hide the front and we'll go down to the original one and we'll hide the back. The other nice thing about doing this is now they're separate and you can move them around or place them so that you can really see, you know, how things are going to look. Um, but then what I think I need to do with this, because I'm going to print that on um, a cardstock, a heavy white cardstock and not the sticker paper, I really need to hide it because it's a print then cut. Cricut is going to try to place it on the same mat um, as one of these other elements. And so then, of course, that's not going to work. And I don't want it as a sticker, and I don't want to waste my material. I'm kind of a hoarder of material, so I don't want to waste my sticker paper. So we're going to go up and know that we're going to have to come back and, and do this element later. So I'm going to just hide that whole piece. And then we're going to hit Save. Okay, so we're successfully saved. And we're going to hit the Make It. Okay, so when you're working with photographs, um, they are going to take a little bit longer to load to your printer, so um, this one was quite large, so it took several minutes, but um, usually the process is pretty quick when it's an image that's already loaded to Cricut. So I've already printed my photograph and my frame, and I'm just now printing this last piece. So you're going to send it to your printer, and see it pops up pretty quick. So it's my printer. You can add a bleed um, with it. This box that you see around it, those are the parameters so that the machine can read your design. And then you're just going to select print. Um, it's going to you know, print on your normal you know, laser printer. And whenever you get to the point of, um, now that it's printed, when you get to the point of cutting, you're going to be able to pick which material that you want to use. And I will be using a sticker paper so I'm going to need to browse all materials. Sticker paper, here we go. So we're gonna select that. And now when we go to the machine to cut it out, it's going to recognize sticker paper. That'll be the depth that it cuts. Um, and we're good. Okay, so now the machine is actually reading those boundary marks that I told you about and so it will have a precise cut. And so now I'm cutting out the chipboard and, and cutting out chipboard or using the knife blade on the Cricut Maker is actually a lot easier than you think. It's all about time with these projects. So the uh, knife blade is just an extra accessory that you'll need to purchase for your maker, um, but it's super simple to use. You'll just need to use a strong grip mat and I suggest taping down the sides with uh, masking tape. 
moving your um, little rollers far over to the right and setting it and letting it go. Okay, so now that I'm done cutting, I wanna show you guys what I have on my craft table. So I have a standard mat that I cut out my cardstock and I cut out my sticker sheets with. And so I have three different sticker sheets. I have the top piece, I have um, the, the front piece of my card, and then I have my photo. And then I also have a strong grip mat, which is what I use to cut out my chipboard. And I actually had uh, masking tape all the way around, but I've removed some of it. But as you can see, it's like a perfect cut, pops right out. So let's assemble our card. Okay, so I've removed everything from the mat um, and I've gotten these little 3D foam squares. I'm going to use this to raise up the Oh What Fun. And what we do is we just take with the sticker paper, um, it's as, as simple as like literally a sticker. So just carefully, and it's a really thick sticker paper, um, but carefully pull it away so that you don't crease. And I know this is gonna sound a little funny, but we duplicated, you watched me duplicate um, the shape right on Cricut Design Space, but it doesn't just go down any direction. So if you start to lay it and you don't feel like it's going to match up, turn it and do it again because not all sides are created equal. It's just one of those things that um, it's going to fit more perfectly one way than it does the other. Okay, so then we have our photo. We flip it over and we have our front. So what we want to do now is we want to put the banner. So if you remember, I cut the banner out in the sticker as well. So we're going to take the banner up from the adhesive sheet. Just being careful not to crease it. Whoops. There we go. And I save the rest of that um, sticker sheet for something else. And then we're going to place it in the center, remembering that you want the larger on the bottom because that's the what fun, and you want the smaller on the top. Okay, and we're going to center that, apply our sticker. Already looking really pretty, isn't it? Oh, I'm loving this. Okay, so then we're going to take these 3D foam squares, and I love these for paper crafting. They just give a little dimension um, to any paper craft. And I will put a link to these down below, along with all the other links for the projects. Okay. And it's as simple is placing them, and I'm going to put four of them. So we can do this really quickly. Put four of them. And you know, the other nice thing about your Cricut Maker um, is that you're going to be able to make an envelope to fit this card or any other card if you decide to make smaller ones um, for many relatives. You can make three by threes or two by twos and you can make little cards to go with those. Now the smaller sizes you're going to have to hand deliver but that's okay. This this one this way is going to require extra postage but that's all right too. So then we take the Oh What Fun and we layer it on. See how beautiful that turned out? Really excited about this. And then there are my kiddos. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed making that Christmas card as much as I did. I'll put all the links down below so you can access all the materials as well as a design space file. And if you like what we did here today, I hope you'll join us back every week for new videos. You can hit that subscribe button, ring that bell so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you next time.